What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about a certain type of book that you can read that uh, I think is really going to help you with your language learning. And it's going to be kind of a short video today because I'm on vacation in Montreal, Canada uh, where I came to practice my French. And um, as you can see, I was really dedicated to practicing my French because there's a ton of snow it's really cold, and only a crazy person comes to Canada while they're on winter vacation. Um, but I wanted to come here because I'm really dedicated to learning French. And um, one of the things that I did while on vacation here in Montreal is I went to a small bookshop. And um, it's kind of an old bookshop. There's a very old lady behind the front desk. And, um, you know, they have all these books that look like they were probably published in 1936 or something um, so a lot of them were very old but it was nice it was a it was a cool little bookshop and I asked the lady behind the desk and this was all in French you know obviously um, I asked her what kind of book would you recommend for someone who's just learning French and uh, her answer actually kind of surprised me and it was something that I had never actually thought of before but it's a great idea and she said you need to be reading plays if you want to read if you want to learn French read plays written in the French language. Um, and if you m recall reading Romeo and Juliet or I don't know, any of the, any Shakespeare, especially Shakespeare from high school, um, there, well, Shakespeare is a little more difficult because of the ancient language. But um, the nice thing about plays that I hadn't really thought about before that this lady was um, telling me was that, you know, they, they're very short phrases. You don't have this huge page just full of words, and it's not that intimidating. It's just, it's mostly dialogue. Plays are almost entirely dialogue, you know? And you just have, you have the name of someone, um, so you know exactly who's speaking at all times. Um, and then, you know, they just give a very short phrase, and then it moves to the next person, and it's easy to follow. And um, I thought this was a great idea, because uh, I hadn't really thought about this before. Um, so I bought two. I bought Quebec Express and La Mer Merle. Um, and so I'm going to be reading these. And um, actually I actually have been reading a little bit here on vacation. Uh, and I like it. I, these are very easy for me to follow. Um, and the other nice thing is a lot, a lot of times they have like, they have little pictures uh, that are actually from the play. So it gives you a little bit of context to understand what's going on. Um, it's not difficult reading, um, very short phrases, um, which is important if you're a beginner, um, and it's interesting. This is not like, you're not reading children's books just because the comprehension level is easier, um, and it, it's plays that adults actually go to for entertainment, so it's interesting, and it's able to hold my interest, um, so be, uh, using plays or any kind of book from the theater. Uh, I hadn't really thought about this before, but I think that's gonna be a great way of getting some comprehensible input um, that's still interesting and it's not gonna overwhelm you. So uh, that's my short advice for this week um, while I'm still on vacation, enjoying my time here in Canada, practicing my French. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel. I try to put out new videos every week um, that are gonna make language learning fast, fun, and easy because I really believe that learning a new language is the single thing you can do that's going to enrich your life more than anything else that you can learn. So thanks for watching my video and we'll see you guys next week.